ocean currents carry water all around our planet. There are many causes of these currents, and one of them is volcanic activity under the ocean bed. In this experiment, we'll create a small underwater volcano to see how the heat from a volcano can produce a current. We will need both hot and cold water, some food colouring, a conical flask and bung, tongs, and a glass tank. Using these, we can see how the heat from an underwater volcano causes currents to flow. We pour recently boiled water into a conical flask and add some food colouring. We then place a bung in the neck of the flask. Using tongs, we lower the flask into a tank of cold water. until it has settled on the bottom of the tank. We allow the water to settle, then gently remove the bung. We watch the underwater volcano erupt. We created an underwater volcano to investigate the causes of ocean currents. We add food colouring so we can observe the flow of the hot water. It is the difference in the temperatures of the hot water in the flask and the cold water in the tank that causes the movement. When water is heated, the molecules gain energy, move faster and spread out more. As a result, hot water is less dense than cold water. When the bung is removed, the hot water floats up through the neck of the flask and rises to the surface. Meanwhile, the denser, cold water from the tank is sliding down into the flask to replace the hot water as it emerges. So the hot water and the cold water travel in opposite directions through the neck of the flask. This movement, in which hot fluids rise due to their lower density, is called convection. Convection can occur with liquids or gases. So it was temperature differences in the water that created the convection current. Over time, the hot water is cooled by the cold, the cold water is warmed by the hot, and mixing takes place.
the end result is a tank of warm water with the red colouring thinly dispersed. Convection currents in the air allow hang gliders to fly. The ground is heated by the sun's rays. This in turn heats the surrounding air, making it less dense and causing it to rise. These warm currents of air are known as thermals and they allow hang gliders to gain lift. So the hot and cold currents in the air allow hang gliders to navigate their way across the sky. <laughs> 